Hi guys, so today we are doing a subscriber body typing and color typing. So these are photos that are submitted through my website for YouTube videos specifically. These are not consult photos, they're not typing photos that you would be submitting if you were to purchase a typing from me. So if you were to purchase a full report or a color typing or a body typing, those photos are always private. These photos were submitted by this lady specifically for the use of, of a YouTube video to discuss her color type and body type. So let's say thank you to this lady for submitting her photos and letting us discuss her color type and body type and if you would like to see more videos like this i do have exclusive videos that are on club that are of club member body typing and color typing as well so you could submit your photos in a more private forum in club and we could have you know we can do your video through club as well okay so let's get into it so here is our first picture of this lady so you can see right away that she looks beautiful in this dress that is a little has a bit of texture to it and it has a bit of understated waist emphasis and she also looks beautiful in that uh the bit of a brighter lip color and you know from here alone i'm thinking she is most likely beveled soft and the closest kibby type to that is soft natural and she I would say she's most likely cool looking looking through her photos overall she looks like she may be cool toned in this photo like maybe cool and delicate but the thing with cool and delicate and soft natural is that you may want to brighten the colors a little bit or lighten the colors a little bit because beveled soft soft natural looks beautiful in pastel soft pastels and bright colors as well so so yeah you may not want to wear too many like heavy heavy dark colors as a beveled soft type and so that's another reason why I think this white dress looks really fresh on her, really beautiful on her. So here I would say that that dress, in terms of the cut, looks really beautiful on her. I do wonder though, this dress makes me wonder if she is cool toned. So you can see that the dress looks a little bit too warm against her skin, although it does look good overall because it is in her lines, you know, it's kind of like flowy, it's textured, so the dress looks, looks good on her overall. Uh, but against her skin, you can kind of see that her skin is cooler than the dress. And this is sort of what I talk about, you know, in terms of cool undertones tend to if they look cooler right like you are going to look less warm than the dress but if you look more warm than what you're wearing then you tend to look more golden if you look less warm then you tend to look a bit more like bluish or something or a bit more bluish or grayish or something like that so that's why warm undertones don't do that well with cool undertones don't do that well with warm colors but warm undertones can do pretty well with cool colors and that's why you know if you make a TV appearance, you're just asked to wear jewel tones. Why are we asked to wear jewel tones? Jewel tones to TV appearances and things like that. Because we're all actually catering to cool and radiant. That's why. Because cool and radiant is the one that needs the most catering. Because they're the coolest type. Everything aside from cool and radiant colors is going to make them look gray or blue. So basically everyone else caters to cool and radiant because cool and radiant doesn't have any other option. So we all uh, have to cater to cool and radiant, including me. I'm cool and delicate. And Olive, uh, I'm actually like this lady, so she is, she looks like she's Olive, doesn't she? Yeah, yeah, so she's cool and delicate and Olive. Yeah, so I would say she, basically she and I pretty much share, share the coloring more or less. I think she may be a little bit warmer than me in some of these photos, she looks like she's warmer than me. In some of them, and some of them not, she looks pretty much cool and delicate. But, um... But yeah, so you can see, you know, here again, you know, she does have some curves, she does have some softness, and um, I would say she does look like she is beveled soft. Um, here also, you know, she does look like she's beveled soft, and um, and yeah, so you know, some of the longer lines work pretty well on her, and of course the um, the waist definition works well on her. Here, I really like this top. Um, on her because you know it is a bit looser a bit more unconstructed and I like this look overall I think it looks very cute I think it looks very effortless and um, it looks pretty elegant on her too because she has it looks like those are pearl earrings and the um, the style of the top is a bit more of an elegant style but at the same time her look is actually in beveled lines and so this is why it's so important to separate out the style from the lines. Of course, some lines do lend themselves better to some styles. We certainly can't deny that, but at the same time, when it comes to creating a certain style, you can really do a lot with certain lines. Like, 
the beveled can look really incredibly elegant in um another thing that beveled can do is like any sort of like anything draped over the shoulders like a scarf draped over the shoulders looks very elegant a low tasseled bun looks very elegant on on beveled and so i think this looks very elegant on her as well but also effortless and so so yeah so here again you know like a dress that's like a little bit unconstructed sort of i mean that looks really effortless and, and really nice on her and she does look like she's cool toned yeah so I'd like to see her in like in soft pastels. I think that would look really beautiful because I really like this like lighter, softer color on her here. But I think that some darker accents may also pull her look together because she does have like the darker hair. Um, yeah, so here she looks really good, you know, with those necklaces and just like with, with texture to her outfits. And I also think she has a natural style essence. You know, I think she does sort of come across as pretty like effortless and um and carefree and chic like effortlessly chic in her in her photos so that's that's a natural style essence so i think here you know this is another example like the understated waist emphasis and then the lightweight fabrics and sort of an oversized loose relaxed fit that's uh, really very much in line with beveled beveled line recommendations beveled soft especially and you know here you can also see her natural style lessons it just kind of looks more effortless uh, more carefree so it all really comes together beautifully and so here you know i would say like again that top looks pretty like romantic on her but at the same time i think it actually works well for a bevel type because it is oversized it has some texture to it as beveled you can definitely do ruffles you can do things like that because you have that softness to you um just make sure that the ruffles are a bit oversized so these i would say are kind of like moderately sized so i think overall this top works beautifully on her um because you know it has the um like the oversized sleeves it looks a bit more relaxed um so it just it works really well for beveled and you can see here also she does look like she's olive let's see which other photo yeah here she looks like she's definitely olive yeah the reason why i'm going through this is because you know i'm on the because of this photo like here alone she does look like she's warm and delicate but the thing is, is that we have to take all of the photos as a whole. We cannot take just one photo and say, you know, well, you're warm and delicate. Um, but, you know, she does in most of our other photos. Like here, she looks cool and delicate. Actually, in every photo except for this one, she looks like she's cool and delicate. Like here as well, she looks like she's cool. Um, here, she looks like she's cool. So I'm comfortable putting her into cool and delicate, even though that one photo does have me a little skeptical. I mean, some of these photos have me a little bit skeptical because, you know, this is like, looks like more of an ivory dress, and I think that does look like a beautiful color on her. Um, so I can see her being, like, incredibly close to neutral. Um, oh, and if you're, if you're watching this, your gray is going to be a taupe. It's not going to be any kind of gray. So, you know, any sort of taupe color is going to be your gray because you are so close to neutral. Any kind of gray that is not muted with brown, which is what taupe is. Taupe is like gray and brown, right? More or less, um, is going to look disconnected from you. And that happens to a fair number of cool and delicate people is that actually gray doesn't always work unless it's like kind of like a, a dusty gray, unless it's a stormy gray, unless it's a charcoal gray, unless it's a taupe. It can't just be a clear silver gray. And the reason for that is because with cool and delicate, with skin tones in general, remember cool and delicate is a muted skin undertone. And so with skin, we are not muting with gray. We're muting with brown. We're muting with brown, with beige, with cream, with ivory, whatever it is, right? We're muting with that that color range we're not muting with grays if you're painting or something you might mix gray in and you know just a gray paint into your blue or something or into your into your red to mute it and it would mute it but that's not what we're doing with skin okay with skin the reason why we are going for taupe is because taupe is muted with brown and pure gray, like black and white mixed together, is going to look disconnected from cool and delicate because pure gray has no browns in it, no tans in it, no beiges in it. Um, 
yeah so 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 yeah so you're muting with, with browns and tans and beiges with skin so that's why taupe if you're very close to neutral taupe is your friend you can do maybe a warm taupe if you're warm and delicate a cool taupe if you're cool and delicate but taupe not pure gray or otherwise charcoal gray stormy gray like i said like some sort of gray that is not just pure black and pure white together okay so if you're watching this you know um you would be one of those people definitely that i would go for taupe i would go for cool ivory i would definitely not go for um you know very like i wouldn't necessarily go for um clear grays and so so let's recap here so for her like i would say she she has a natural style essence i think she does read as pretty effortless um you know and you know like here and here as well you know i think she does read as pretty effortless i think i do see a bit of classic to her as well you know like here she definitely looks more uh, more like elegant and timeless um so i see some classic to her as well and and here as well she looks more elegant and so so it depends on what you want to lean into right um in some of her images she definitely looks like she is more like like in this one and in this one like more of an effortless type of type of uh style but in some of them she looks a bit more elegant so it really depends on what you want to lean into you could either do classic or you could do natural uh, if you want to do classic you know i think you're doing it really quite perfectly here so you know these like slightly unconstructed fits you know um things like that but in, in a in a more classic style and um on the other hand if you want to do natural you really want to lean into like the texture and everything like you're doing here like uh, the the jewelry being quite textured the top being quite textured you know you want to lean into the texture like that if you are if you want to uh, go for more of a natural look and as as beveled soft you know especially you ha you have to really lean into the the texture for it to really actually look natural on you so to speak um yeah so i would say she is beveled soft probably cool and delicate probably olive and uh, i would say she has a classic style essence with a natural style essence depending on which way she sort of wants to lean all right you guys so that is it i hope you enjoyed this video leave some comments down below and let me know your thoughts and if you are interested in being included in one of these videos you can submit your photos through mariamstyle.com through the photo submission portal and always remember that the typing photos are always private, so if you purchase a typing from me, those photos are always private. These photos are submitted specifically for the use of, you know, videos and things like that, so that they're they're submitted for public use specifically. So, so keep that in mind and um, leave some comments, and I will talk to you next time. Okay, bye.